Hey there, I'm estate planning attorney, Paul Rabelais, and in this video, I am going to explain what information a beneficiary of a trust is entitled to. So here's the deal. Lots of people are setting up trusts these days. People are setting up testamentary trusts in their wills. People are setting up revocable living trusts, and then people are setting up revocable living trusts that have subtrusts that go on after the death of the settlor or settlors. And people are setting up what I call gifting trusts that parents and grandparents often establish for their children and grandchildren, sometimes for estate tax avoidance purposes. The trustees of these trusts, not trying to be rude here, but the trustees of these trusts are often in over their heads. They've never been a trustee before. The trustee is often some best friend or relative of the settlor, the person who set up the trust. The trustees often don't know the investment and accounting rules that are required of trustees. And quite frankly, many of the, these trustees are just simply not capable of abiding by those rules anyway. So it often turns into one big hot mess. Now, the key is if you are a beneficiary of a trust, you may need to be proactive to understand the trust terms and to understand what's going on with the trust property before something goes wrong that costs you big time. So here's four common examples that I hear. First, Paul, my, my father died eight months ago and my brother is now the trustee of my father's revocable living trust. I'm pretty sure that I'm a beneficiary of that trust, but, but, but my brother, who's the trustee, he's not responding to any of my texts, emails, or phone calls, what can I do? Or second, I might hear something like, Paul, in my mother's will, she left assets for me in a testamentary trust and my uncle is the trustee of that trust. My uncle won't give me any information, what do I do? Or third, I might hear, Paul, my grandparents set up a trust for me many years ago and as far as I know, I'm entitled to the assets when I'm 60 years old, I'm 45 now. How do I get information regarding what's going on with the trust? Or fourth, I might hear, Paul, my grandparents in their revocable living trust, they said, what that, they, they said that when they pass away, their trust was to become irrevocable, but a portion of their trust was to be placed in a living trust subtrust for me to get at the trustee's discretion. But the trustee won't tell me anything. What do I do? Okay, so here's the deal. If you are a beneficiary of a trust and you can't get information about the trust or the trust dealings, now I'll preface this information with the fact that this information can be subject to two important things that must be taken into account. First, the terms of the trust instrument, and second, applicable state trust law. Nonetheless, here are a few basic guidelines if you are a beneficiary of a trust and you're not getting the information that you want or need. First, if you are a beneficiary of someone else's revocable living trust, then while that settlor of that revocable living trust is alive, you're not entitled to any information. Think about it. If you are named as a beneficiary of a revocable living trust, you really don't have any rights until the settlor, the person who set up the trust, dies. At that point, the trust becomes irrevocable and now you have certain rights as the beneficiary of an irrevocable trust. Now, even if you are a beneficiary of a revocable living trust and have no right to information so long as the trust is revocable, note that if the trust owns real estate, there may be a certificate of trust recorded in the county or parish land records that may give basic information about the trust. How much information is in the certificate of a trust? depends on the applicable state's requirements for a certificate of trust. And second, if you are a beneficiary of an irrevocable trust, then you, again, subject to the terms of the trust instrument and state trust law, you do have the right to information. So what information do you have the right to get? Well, let's start with a copy of the trust. Generally, upon your request at reasonable times, the trustee must give to a beneficiary accurate information as to the nature and amount of trust property and permit you to inspect the documents relating to the trust. In addition, a trustee is under a duty to keep and render clear and accurate accounts of the trust administration and render at least once a year a clear and accurate account covering the trustee's administration for the preceding year. Now, what if the trustee does not provide 
this information that they are required to provide? Well, then you as a beneficiary may have to hire an attorney to bring in action to compel the trustee to perform their duties or perhaps even remove the trustee. So the bottom line here is if you are currently a beneficiary of an irrevocable trust and have the least bit of suspicion that either intentionally or unintentionally things just aren't right, you need to act probably today to gather the information that you need to hold the trustees and other responsible parties accountable for, 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 for fulfilling their duties. Now, hey, I wanna make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. What I'd really like to hear, there's, I've heard so many kind of trust horror stories in the comments below. If you have an experience with a trustee that maybe just didn't perform their duties right, uh, let us know in the comments below how that turned out. We all benefit from these stories. So look, you take care, good luck, and have a great day.